بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شروع الله کا نام لے کر جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم والا ہے چلو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول کور دی انسیکٹ اینڈ ہوسٹ پلانٹ ریلیشن شپ ان دی انسیکٹ اینڈ ہوسٹ پلانٹ ریلیشن شپ ایز یو نو دیٹ دی insect and plant they have a particular relationship therefore the specific insect feed on it dekho beta is tarah koi insect faza mein ud raha hai how they can recognize that this is my particular host to wo particular host jo hai wo identify karne ke liye there are a particular relationship between insect and a host plant and uh, this is very important to understand this relationship why because if we find out what kind of color or uh, uh, what kind of chemicals upon which the insect are attracted we will utilize those one in our resistance mechanism so therefore the insect and host plant relationship have two main aspect the insect aspect and the plant aspect the insect aspect is very very important because how insect can find its host and how they can feed on it and uh, there are four major steps ye aapke notes mein beta diya hua hai insect and host plant relationship dekhna hai ki insect and host plant relationship jo hai wo insect aspect aur plant aspect dono pe hi depend karti hai jo insect aspect hai iske jo hai wo four main or major steps hain how an insect recognize its host and how they can feed on it finding the first step is finding the general habitat if the insects they are flying or uh, in upon a crop how they can find the general habitat of particular host plant insect locate the general area of the host by means usually unrelated to plant how they can recognize their gen- general habitat they use the physical stimuli such as light wind gravity sometimes they can use temperature and humidity also to locate their host it's mean that the general habitat finding the general habitat the major step in physical stimuli we can call them or a biotic factor they help to locate the habitat of that crop or that host plant therefore it is clearly visible during the migrating form of insects as you know that some insects they move uh, from one place to another place uh, such as locust or the ak butterfly and many other pests they move from one area to another area and those one are the migrating uh, insects so for finding the general habitat the insect usually uh, use these physical stimuli such as temperature humidity light wind and gravity then next major step is finding the host plant now they have located the general habitat so the insect have located the uh, rawl pindi area first one and now they need to find the particular crop particular host plant particular cabbage or any other uh, uh, field crop upon which they can feed how they can locate that host they usually use their vision or smell so they use their vision 
or a smell to locate their host plant. Suppose if the thrips they are flying upon a certain habitat, how they can locate their host plant? Because they don't have that kind of eyes that we have. They, because they are looking uh, or they are uh, just seeing everything in the form of a different color wavelength. So, for example, if thrips, uh, how they can locate their host if they are uh, flying upon a crop, they first one uh, see that if that particular crop have a, uh, a particular wavelength from 500 to 700 mm. So they try to use that VL to locate that host with the help of that wavelength. Next step, they will use their antennae. Antennae helps them to locate their host because that particular host also release few chemicals which help to locate their host plant. It's mean vision and smell alone or both, they can be utilized to find the particular host. And uh, in case of aphids and white fly, both they are attracted toward yellow green surfaces. So the yellow green surfaces are mostly uh, attractive for the aphids as well as for the white fly. But this uh, color cannot be uh, helpful in the plant resistance because uh, this color depending on other uh, fundamental physiological processes. And uh, it is very difficult to utilize those ones. However, uh, in some cases uh, in uh, cotton, cabbage or horse, uh, red color is less attracted for the insects. So we can use uh, that uh, red color cultivars in the host plant resistance mechanism. Uh, I already mentioned you that uh, uh, the vegan smell and also the shape and size of tree can also help in locating their host plant. For example, fruit fly, uh, a particular species uh, that is Rogalitus, uh, which usually associated with the shape and size of the trees. So if the uh, tree is very big and very tall, and uh, uh, they will attract it toward that host plant. So the size, shape of our tree is also important in locating the host plant. Once insects are in contact with the plant, short range stimuli will also help them or will uh, help them to locate their host plant. And uh, these, uh, when insects are in contact with plants, so it means they definitely will sit on that host plant and they have a tactile receptors, which, uh, and uh, these tactile receptors actually uh, uh, stimuli or excite those receptors and uh, uh, which help in the uh, locating the chemicals through chemoreceptors on tarsi, antennae and mouth parts. So first step was finding the general host, the general habitat, and second step is the finding the host plant. Maria Similagri, this is a very important step. First, they look at find the habitat. Second, they had located their host plant. Now, they have to accept that plant as a proper host. How they can um, accept that particular plant so it means they have to do some uh, test bites. Test bite means, just like we have some food or some food, we want to eat some food, we want to eat some food, we want to eat some food, so we want to eat some food, we want to eat some food. So test bites, we want to eat some food, we want to eat some food, so they recognize or they have to confirm that they locate their proper host. So it's mean 
with the help of this test bites the insects locate their proper host and uh, uh, this test bite is very common in caterpillar and uh, some uh, monophagous insects such as uh, silkworm and uh, other insects uh, uh, like uh, uh, Braviconi brassici, that is the cabbage aphid. What they will do, they actually uh, uh, start uh, uh, feeding on the insects on that particular plant and they have to perceive certain chemicals, uh, particular chemicals, they are coming from that uh, mulberry tree. So then they will prefer that particular host. Similarly, for the cabbage effect, if the glucosinolates, they are coming from that host plants, then they will initiate their feeding on that plant and they will accept that plant as a particular host. And other physical factor which are involved in the acceptance of proper host involve the leaf and stem toughness, leaf surface waxes and pubescence. Pubescence, I already mentioned you, Pubicent is the density and uh, types of hairs which are present on particular plant. And uh, they, these pubicents actually very helpful in feeding and oviposition. Because if these uh, uh, trichomes or these hairs are present, definitely they will disturb the insect feeding as well as their oviposition. And last major step is the sufficiency of plant for requisites. That last step for insect aspect is very very important if the insects first one they have to locate general habitat then they have to locate their host plants then they have to accept and four steps this plant must have to provide sufficient amount of food to that particular insect and uh, how they think that this is a uh, sufficient plant and they, that can provide that particular insects a complete diet. If nutrients are adequate and no toxicity, it means it will help the insects to complete its normal life cycle and become adult, a uh, healthy adult, and uh, uh, which is uh, indicated by a normal adult longevity and fecundity. So it means sufficiency of plants depend on the nutrients or the chemicals which are helpful for the insect development and as well as for the its fecundity. So these four major steps. What are the major steps? Anybody can tell me for the insect aspect. Maria? Yes, sir. The first one is finding of general habitat. Second one was finding the host plant. Third one is yes. accepting the plant as a proper host. And the fourth one is sufficiency of the plant for requisites. Shab, excellent. Now, uh, the plant aspect. Plant aspect is also very important in uh, uh, insect and host plant relationship. Better keep in mind that uh, uh, during the exam, I can ask you write down the uh, short note on insect aspect. What happens? Some students they are confused and they will start writing uh, mechanism of insect resistance or something like that, or maybe they can write uh, categories of uh, uh, insect plant relationship. So keep in mind that the insect aspect is different from the previous lecture. So the plant aspects, as you know that the Morphological as well as physiological factors, they are of, in, of plant is very, very important for insect responses. The morphological characteristics, I already told you, the, many, the morphological uh, feature uh, are actually the physical stimuli or the, uh, these uh, uh, morphological feature can uh, bar insect activity. So, the, uh, I already told you that uh, in insect aspect, there are four general steps, but in case of plant aspect, there are two major uh, aspects 
first one is the morphological characteristics second one is the physiological characteristics as you know that plant they have definitely morphological features which help in the insect host plant relationship as well as the chemical uh, features we can th- call those one physiological uh, characteristics so morphological characteristics i told you already told you they actually uh, includes the uh, different trichomes they may be a glandular or non glandular glandular mean they have uh, certain glands which secrete some chemicals so therefore we can call those one glandular ones and non glandular mean it mean they cannot secrete certain uh, chemicals so m- the morphological characteristics involve trichomes foliage size shape color presence and absence of glandular secretion so then is the pubescence as well as tissue toughness hardiness stem hardiness and uh, uh, all these characteristics so anybody have uh, uh, collected those morphological features i already mentioned you in the last class uh, on your notebook have anybody done this work okay is it sir i miss practical copy ne sir is pe hum confused hai ki iske sir स्नैप बनाने लगानी है या इसके जो करैक्टर्स है प्लांट्स के जैसे स्पाइंस वगैरह ये लगानी है या इसकी स्नैप लगानी है कॉपी पे ड्रा कर लो बेहतर है क्योंकि आपको मिलेंगे नहीं फील्ड में ना भी यस सर ड्रा कर देते हैं ड्रा कर लेते हैं वैक्सिस जो है वो भी उसी तरह प्लांट के ऊपर कर लें या नेट से लेके ना डिफरेंट ये डिफरेंट मॉर्फोलॉजिकल करैक्टरिस्टिक्स उनका प्रिंट लेके तो वो कॉपी पे लगा लें बेहतर ये है यस सर वो स्नैप अगर हम लगा लें तो वो ठीक रहेगा प्रिंट ठीक है कलरफुल हो तस्वीरें वो कलरफुल हो तो प्रैक्टिकल नंबर 1 लेके आगे वो सारे के सारे आपने ड्रा करने हैं मतलब ना वो पिक्चर लगानी है यस सर ये कर लेंगे मोस्टली प्लांट्स के लेने हैं तो ट्राइकोम भी मिल जाएंगे आपको हेयर्स भी मिल जाएंगे स्पाइंस भी मिल जाएंगे वो मोस्टली क्राफ्ट के लेने हैं तकरीबन ये पंद्रह या बीस तक हो जाए मॉर्फोलॉजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड देन इज दी फिजोलॉजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एक्चुअली दे इन्फ्लुएंस द इंसेक्ट बिहेवियर थ्रू केमिकल्स एंड दीज आर दोडक्ट ऑफ प्लांट मेटाबोलाइज सर आपने जब करेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंट का टॉपिक कंप्लीट किया था तो आपने कहा था ये आपके फर्स्ट टू प्रैक्टिकल्स भी हैं तो ये भी आ, लिखने हैं ना प्रैक्टिकल नोटबुक पर या नहीं हाँ लिखने ना बेटा लिखने हैं ये प्रैक्टिकल का पोर्शन है आपका ये आगे फिजियोलॉजिकल पढ़ने होंगे करेक्टराइजेशन और मैकेजम भी हाँ हाँ बेटा ये क्यों अभी तीन मिनट में ये खत्म हो जाना है अपना मेरा क्या कहते हैं ये जो हमारा टाइम ड्यूरेशन ना क्योंकि आप ग्रेट नहीं हुआ इसमें प्रॉब्लम करता है तो ये खत्म हो जाएगी क्लास तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम ये प्लांट आस्पेक्ट दोबारा शुरू करेंगे कल ना इनशाला तो इसमें डिटेल आपको मैं पढ़ाऊंगा तो आज के लिए मैं यहाँ से नोटबुक्स पे कौन कौन से टॉपिक लिखने हैं सर बेटा ये मारिया को मैंने मैसेज किया था ना उसके ऊपर तो वो अपना कर लें और ये ड्राॅइंग कर लें तो ये आपका तीन प्रैक्टिकल समझे हो जाएंगे यस सर फर्स्ट जो है वो करेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस है सेकंड जो है मैकेनिज्म ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस है और थर्ड जो है फिजियोलॉजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स जो है प्लांट की उसके आपने प्रिंट निकाल के और कॉपी पर लगाने और साथ लेबल कर देना है तो फिर नेक्स्ट जो हम क्लास में फिजियोलॉजिकल करेंगे इंशाल्लाह जी ठीक है शाबाश यस सर एनी क्वेश्चन किसी बच्चे को समझ ना लगी हो नहीं सर ठीक है हां थैंक यू बच्चों ओके अल्लाह हाफिज ओके अल्लाह हाफिज अल्लाह अल्लाह हाफिज